racist or something. Yeah. Wow, um, right back to the racist stuff. Wow, it just got yeah, off the I'm panel. I'm just curious. Just curious. There's a bunch that we skipped out. My channel. I'll tell you how to run yours. Right? You have all perspectives. You, you see how many people... Uh, did you look at how many people called me there on my own channel? They weren't I haven't called blocked. him a racist. I've so called him a fudge packer. A pretty monotheism wants to say anything about white people she wants. It's fair game. That's just how it goes. The king is finally here. How's it going today? You know, I was, I was literally until about a minute ago recording 45 minutes back. That's how far I was behind listening and, and recording and giving retorts. And okay. uh, I decided, I all of a sudden decided, all right, I, Kevin, the, where I left off off my recording was Kevin <laughs> was on and uh, he'd been on for, well, the second time you let him on. And after a couple of minutes of that, I'm like, okay, I'm going to go current, see what's going on. And literally when okay. we went current on the recording is when you, when you drop the link again and I was listening and, and I'm like, all right, see what I'm saying now, now I'm here. Okay. No, I didn't need all that explanation, man. It, well, you could have been just, busy you know, doing I wanted whatever. To curb some of your skepticism, Kay, because you're like just trying to help you curb some of that. All right. There you go. I don't even have to oh. try to be a dick about that and slap around at you. You can see my concerns, though, right? Well, shit, yeah. Do you see any of mine? Mm, well, no. I guess that's why we're here talking about it. Well, I don't see them currently. No, yeah, I don't you, see you haven't really been able to, but that's okay because in in the recordings you'll you'll hear, and I don't know when I'll publish them, but you'll hear that when you're getting spun around and you got a lot of people coming at you with all different types of bullshit, right? Mm -hmm. It's like you're gonna be put in a corner and not know who to believe, and that's the goal. It doesn't matter who you believe because you said it yourself. They want you to take sides. And that's how mm -hmm. they, they break down pockets, movements. And in the recordings, I talk about that, how the breakups, like OJ and Renee broke up that divided up a pocket. Uh, top, some of the top cop watchers from NorCal. Uh, I'll say hi, Desert Community Watch. And uh, crap. Can you still hear me? I had a phone call that came through. Yeah. Okay. So High Desert Community Watch, Ida Foxy Queen, they had anywhere from 300,000 to, uh, uh, you know, I'd say 400,000 people following and watching. And when they broke up, they were dating their, some of the top cop watchers, huge numbers. When they broke up, it just divided that whole movement, really. But shit, even right now, even right now, I've got people that are trying to keep me from talking to you all of a sudden. I haven't had a phone call in hours and all of a sudden you get on the panel with you and somebody, you know, from hovering from around this area of pocket, right. Trying to call through. Mm -hmm. all of a sudden. So you, you right. got to realize they're trying to spin us all. So we don't talk to each other. We don't trust each other. We uh, end mm -hmm. up in the streets fighting each other. They want that. That's why but I talk you to think, you. Go, go, go ahead. I've already been talking. Like, yeah, I know. But don't you think things, like how you say, the honor network's gonna be up your butt for that? Like, I mean, okay. like up my let, butt let for what? It, it, let me let me just no, watch no, that. No, no, but I'm um, no, this we're gonna just talk in real simple linguistic. Let me don't just, you, let me squash it. Don't then. you? Okay, no, I'm I'm asking you something. Don't you think saying something like that would spark all this hysteria and confusion if you think that it might not be true? Dude, dude, I've looked back on some stuff and gone, shit, I shouldn't have said that at that time. And I was totally joking. I'm sorry. See, once again, see, I can come on your channel and go, dude, I shouldn't have said that at that time. I was joking around. Sorry. And But if you have this position on people dividing and you're so easy to say that, then you don't really care about that. <laughs> oh, it's, you see what I'm saying? Like, that's what I mean. This, and, and I was it, talking about this as far as having empathy and it's kind of outside of the outside of the scenario where people don't have enough empathy for each other's scenarios in a sense and it, and it does become a joke when it shouldn't be joking at that time i just See thought it was saying? interesting that many people are trying to link me in with this group as soon as yeah a pretty monotheism got the ranch 
I don't. Okay. If you're looking at the timeline and what people are looking at, okay. If you're just watching, just a spectator of my channel, can't you see it look like that? Like something was off course about that? About Uh, my comment, about what I said, and then the timing of things? Yeah. Because uh, just like I was listening to your story about the beginning, I was listening and giving my commentary once again. It was like... Mm -hmm. I was tying things together as you were talking about your story too, because we haven't ever had time to talk about that. And that's what they bank on. Keep us so busy chasing the, the Q ghost in a sense, right? Or mm-hmm. whatever you want to call it, that that we're we become spun and confused. So you don't know who to believe, you don't know who to trust, and then you become skeptical. And I can see where you're at, man. That's where I'm showing up. You want to squash it. I'm always been coming here to try to squash it. I've gone against mm. my own like uh, my own accord on saying not wanting to come back and try to work it out with you. Mm. Well, I'm just always curious about what people mean by certain things because there's just no reason for things to go like that. Well, if someone, it, it, like there are certain things st- that are said. Oh, look at this shit. So go go ahead. Sorry. Um, I got more things to worry about. Just fucking no, continue. I didn't want well, to cut are, you off. Do you, do you want me to talk so you can keep on using my this this content in your videos? Is that why you want me to continue, or do you actually really want to squash <laughs> it? Because it's just I I don't know. I never, man. Yeah, I never thought about the first thing that you talked about. Just not. I never thought of that yet. Well, that's the way it works out. Only when I'm skeptical on something. Right. Well, dude, you're you're a skeptical on a lot of shit, and I can no, that's see my why. Prerogative, bro. But yeah, that's what I, I mean. I'm trying why. to show you why that I see it like that, and most and, people and I, see it like that. You know, some of your real. videos, I've seen the point. I've seen your points. And mm-hmm. if you got to use some people in as, as an example, because this is something that's repeating. And people aren't getting it, right? Just like Mike said, that was the first time he's heard about the codes. He's looking them up. And I even said in my recording, so it's again, uh, these guys are looking up because they're almost making a joke about your your theory. And they're like, ah, right. come on, it can't be like that. We got to look this up, right? And then, then they're like, holy shit. But already by that time, you're already skeptical. You already got your next video lined up. You're just waiting for that right piece of the puzzle to fit in. And boop, there it is. And once again, well, you might have a I video have lined up, that. right? Wait exactly. for something to gonna, come along. Listen, you just, like, you don't have any decency in you, man. I'm being for real. I'm trying you to be over. for real. That's why I'm here. Yeah, yeah but, okay. Right. Uh, I'm just I'm just a fraud fake and believe everything that everybody says out there always all the time. Everybody in your fantasy fucking world. So I don't know about all of that. I never asked anybody to believe me. First off, if you see what I'm seeing, then you just see it. If you don't, then hey, this channel is not for you. Well, my point is when you put out the rhetoric, true or not, when it leaves too much interpretation to the viewer, and mm-hmm. I'm not saying don't do this. I mean, it's part of comedy and satire, right? But when there's too much interpretation left up to to the, the fucking weirdos, man, the truckers are showing up and stabbing each other. Well, well that's not already, good then. Right, right. But yeah, we, so we like, I don't have anything people. to do with what the truckers have going on, but... If little things like that is ruining truckers' world, then think about the magnitude. Well, and it's I mean, you're not the only one that, right? that can omit and twist things around for for maybe a different outcome. Well, for the record, I try not to omit a lot. I do omit some things because a lot of it is just talk. You gotta get right, to the like, key uh, points. But when it gets right, to the key maybe, points, I let the whole sentence is finished. You know what I'm saying? I put I keep the context there. There's a difference between me and a lot of people that do video. And when you go look at the stream, you'll see the same context. And let, me, how it was. let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. And, and of course, uh, you know, this is going back to APM. She releases a mm-hmm. video last night taking out of context TC Boggs to where mm-hmm. he's repeating the accusations. So she mm-hmm. edits it down. 
to where it, it looks like he's sitting there admitting that he is a white pedo. Uh-huh. Right. Do you, do you, what do you think about that? Is that a legit way to try to portray someone? Is that well, comedy or satire? Should that shit be illegal? I don't know, but yeah. it was done and he's got every legal right from there because of the portrayal. And that's what happened to me. People were saying these things. I repeat the accusations. It gets edited down, pumped out to make it look like you're either supporting or you're saying you are and all this other crazy shit. Well, that happened to her. So I think she was rebuttaling. In, Just on in, this round. Well, I mean, who would appreciate right your, who would appreciate this saying of like, well, this guy is sticking his dick into some crazy chica and I want to do something about that. Is that a lie or, you know what I mean? Where does it stop? Well, well once Plus again, the don't, stuff, the same thing. don't hold me so. responsible. Don't hold, try to hold me responsible for what somebody else said or did. But I'm not. I'm saying how it went and how I saw things. So she had all the right to retort however she right, wanted but it, to. It, right, but it came out that I put that guy up to there and I don't, I've never even talked to him. Well, you Believe put his video up addressed to me right because i saw it i've been subbed to his channel for a short time oh and i God. saw it i didn't know what he's doing in the background there oh, i saw oh, it and i'm oh. like this is a good message there you go i addressed it to you you take it and you put it in your films and everybody laughs and has why, a good day why when i put it in my films he's talking about I know. Same here. When people talk about me, I rebuttal and put it in my films because it's funny. Yeah, I never but have what, a problem. What, what's I never have a problem with people doing that. Uh huh. What's yeah. what's effed up? And I think the most effed up thing that was done to me is I got a strike on my original channel where I was actually putting up Eric Spitfire singing the F Tard song, and uh, he was he said something bullshit about me. I put it up on my channel, and somebody actually struck it for bullying. And I got a strike for bullying and harassment. What is in there's so much twisted shit. That is some of the tech I was in the beginning hoping to try to show to help you jump in front of this bull, all of this bullshit, so you can keep on producing films. I wanted to see more stuff on the dump, whatever oh you can learn. And you're not gonna oh believe it. You can be skeptical. You're gonna be skeptical. No one can change your mind on that. And that's the freedom of whatever the heck you want to call it freedom of religion mm-hmm. expression so you be as, spe- as skeptical about people as you want those questions that you do ask are, are hard and tough to some people but uh okay. I'm telling you without credentials and proper training you're just going to keep on running into brick walls like you are well thanks for your godlike advice what i was waiting for you to do is finish we were talking about the video that APM just did and it wasn't warranted or something. Is that what you were getting at? No, I was getting at the, just my question was, what do you think about editing down something like that to where it portrays mm-hmm. that he's sitting there admitting to these things when he's repeating the accusations? You see what I'm saying? So to take yeah, that did. video totally out of context, I think I heard you talk about that a little bit and the taking mm-hmm. out of context. Now, it's either two ways. Uh, you know, you, you might be good at, at lying that you're not, you know, have anything to do with showing burger, but that's still the tactic that it looks like. Um, I guess you're entitled to that. But... Right. It just looks like, just like it looks mm-hmm. like to you, okay, some things that, that, you know, you ran into a network and you're going to bust them, right? Well, from here, it looks like a not propaganda really. slander campaign coming from the Slowenberger camp. And that's the no. way it looks to a lot of people you don't even realize. But I always go for that, like either both ways, because a good investigation, you got to look at all aspects, not just get caught up on the first two and run with them like your Mikey Slow Truth 2020 over here. Well, we don't work together, so. I know, and you guys are trying to say for me to, for, for Kevin to come get me. Go get your boy, Eric. Dude. You know as well as I do, I do not like Canadians, especially subversive bastards like that. I think we were just joking around, man. I know, I did kind of catch that. It was kind of funny. 
It was. He, I've been you guys laughing. Are so <laughs> uptight. And then, you know, like, this is what I'm saying. People that have nothing to hide is not this uptight. And that's the bottom line. You can twist it any way you want. It's just simple facts, bro. Simple you're facts. You're really uptight. But there's still yeah, you're really uptight, a few man. ways to look at things and the intent. And when you omit a tent, all right, and you oh, start don't editing say it shit. Like that. Don't say it like that, man. When I do what again? When you omit intent. There you go. Get it all out. Because sounds like other things to other people. Well, I mean, a lot of people do it. And that's part of comedy and satire yeah. also. And into the freedom of expression within film. Just that whole statement you just said just creeping the fuck out just now. I know. It's gnarly, dude. And I wish I could do something about it. But it's really... You, better, you should start tonight. You no, no. I've been tonight. working on it. I've been working on it since like 2007, bro. 2007. Yep. Horrible. You know what, man? How do you how do you change the world of broadcasting after it's already been so fucking tainted, dude? You just keep pumping your message out there, and that's it. Like I yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I've got years worth of stockpile that I'm just gonna start pumping out. I decided instead of retiring. Stockpile. Yeah, that's in in my in my realm of reality. That means the vault the re of a quiet. lot of information besides your drama shit show that you're trying to perpetuate for clicks and views, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, but that's your opinion. Uh, this, don't right. give me any clicks, Thank you. Nobody Thank really, you for allowing me no to have one... your opinion, my opinion on um, your, your panel. That's great. Are you just being a jerk, man? They don't read that. Be a jerk. See, I only... Uh, intensify once I feel that the other person's trying to bullshit me or scam me. I'll take it to the next level real quick on you if I feel like um, I'm trying to be bullshitted or scam. Is it post-traumatic so stress to, syndrome? Do, do you want to keep this going and go back and forth with videos or do you want to try to squash this and do you want to know some things that you may not know? Because I've been trying to be real front and forward with you so far and chill. Excuse me? You All want right. to repeat that yeah. statement once more? No, I don't. I don't. I don't fuck around with amateurs. Are you sure you're not the amateur here? Oh yeah. 2007 is when I won my international radio award. Him and his little things, and oh, they're not trying to set. Listen to all that. What's he doing over there? This guy lost his mind. He is just so bad. He's so mad. No, that's that's what uh, on the shill script. The first thing to go after stolen valor is the guy is psychotic. That's uh, also in in the DSM four and above. If you know what that is, Aaron, do come back. Let's discuss this. If people say, "Oh, they're not trying to set you up with this," you're crazy. Am I? Look, look at this. He's trying to tell me about films and all sorts of weird shit. No, Aaron, come back, dude. We have more to talk about. It was just getting good. Yeah. It was just getting good. Mm. I'm sorry that Aaron had to, like, tuck tail and run. No, that was, call, like, that, a was, uh, that was a rage I, quit, and I'm done fucking around with the amateurs. I never encountered a situation where I rage quit. I usually can sit there and work it out. He's like, oh, you want to work it out? And then he gets mad when I didn't even get to answer the question. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Don't invite these people on. I don't really want to, but I did want some answers. Uh, I got a few answers that I needed today. We'll make it go four hours exactly, and then we'll get out of here. Because we got to close it out a little bit. But of course, yeah. a lot of people that Hang didn't get a chance that wanted to talk to me <laughs> Hang it up and go back and hit the books. First year, all these first year law students at an unaccredited college. Give them a chance to do it. But, uh, if anyone thinks that this guy Aaron V. Cox is some nice guy or something like that, don't believe him. You see how he oh, yeah. gets up here and just goes all crazy. And, you know what I mean? He's the one trying. Says the guy. 
that's trying to say on his stream that I probably put people in the woods hurt so then I can be the hero to find them. I'm about to call everybody and get their testimony and see how they're doing today. And when I say everybody, that's more than a handful. You see what I'm saying? Now link me in with all this stuff. He's like, they're jokes. Okay, I mean, it's cool. That's a great explanation. But it's more than just you that's doing this. So, Tiffany and, uh, and Blazing Scar. Uh-huh. So concerned. All right, and well. It's time of the month. I probably. I've I given you guys enough chance. of a shit show. I'm ending out. And, uh, see, it doesn't go anywhere. It's all to put in his videos for later so he can misinterpret it. And it's clicks and views to me. Everybody have a good day. Thanks for checking this all out. And uh, that's it.